G'day folks, it's nearing the end of a scorching hot day. I've sneakily snuck down the river to fish for Murray Cod in this black slop, this dark water. <laughs> Rightio folks, in case you're worried about the water being so dark, this is quite natural this time of year. It's not great, it doesn't look great, but it's not uncommon. As the water gets really low, it gets a bit warm during this extreme heat, which makes it a bit darker as it is. Then we get some wind like we had this morning and it blows a lot of leaves into the water, which the tannins leach out of the leaves into the water, making it really black. The conditions aren't ideal. But the fish are still there and they're probably still on the bite a little bit. I'm not expecting anything red hot, but I'll go and give it a crack. I've downsized my lure tonight. I'm using a number two stump jumper. This is the theory that I'm running with. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. That's hot. We're heading for our hottest January on record. It has been scorching hot. It's 40 today, 40 yesterday, 45 tomorrow. Absolutely insane. Now, when it's really hot, I don't like to eat big meals, big hearty meals. That's why we have salads in the summer and lighter meals. For tea tonight, I just had a few bites of chicken and that was it. I didn't feel like a big meal. So I'm working on the theory that perhaps the fish are the same. Maybe when it just gets too hot, they don't want a big meal. They just want something small. So I'm starting off with a small number two stump jumper, just to see how it goes. Worth a try. I love these dark corners like this. Got him. And that's why I love them. There's this fish sit under them. <laughs> that's why I love these dark corners because fish will sit in there like that. Nice and shady, lots of cover. Lovely little Murray cod, eh? Come on, buddy. Open wide. Rightio. Give me hand a bit of a wet. There we go, folks. Nice little Murray cod, probably in the high 30 centimetre size. Caught on the number two stump jumper. I haven't used one of these for a long time, but I mentioned at the start of the video why I was using it, and uh, the boonie five minutes and it seems to be working. Let's get this bloke unhooked and back in the drink. Right, oh, lovely little Murray cod. See you, mate. Oops, wasn't the most graceful release of all time. But I'm sure he's swimming, swimming away now, and I'm sure he's uh, happy to see the end of me. <laughs> ah, downsized my lure in this stinking heat. I wonder if it was a fluke that I caught one straight away, or whether that's the uh, whether I've figured something out. Got him! Oh, I missed him. Right in the thick of all that crap in there, something came out and hit my stump jumper just then. Right in amongst all that crap. I wonder if you'll come back. Felt a bit of weight. Yeah, it might have felt a bit too much weight, I think. <laughs> right in the middle of all that. Got him! Little weeny one! Did you see that? <laughs> That's definitely not the fish that hit my lure in there five minutes ago. Look at the size of him. I got him on a surface. It was a full-on surface buff. I was... I'd cast my little number two stump jumper in there, but I didn't quite cast it far enough. So I was allowing it to float and I was just yanking on my line, making it bob up and down as it floated downstream. I've actually got a video called Lure Bobbing for Murray Cod. I put the link to that above now so you can see it. And that's exactly the sort of technique I was talking about, exactly what happened just then. Look at that tiny little Murray cod on the number two stump jumper. I suppose if you downsize your lures, you downsize your fish, don't you? <laughs> there we go, folks. Lovely little Murray cod. See ya, buddy. Off he goes. I just had a strike right in front of these trees here about probably five minutes ago, and I just stood here and persevered, then eventually I got him from over there. I'm 99% sure it's a different fish because the first fish made a much bigger boil than that one could ever dream of making. But what I was doing, I was lure bobbing. I'd cast out there and it was a bit short, so I was just sort of bobbing it around the surface like that to float it down into position. Then, boof! The fish hit it. 
Rightio folks, I've just taken the number two stump jumper off and I've replaced it with the old faithful depths buzz jet that I've been doing so well with this season. Now, I do have one problem. I've just gone to change the battery in my GoPro only to realize that I forgot to bring my spare battery with me. So what I'll be doing is filming, is fishing without filming. Then if I hook a fish, I'll start recording. Basically, it just means you're not going to get to see the boof. If I get any boofs. Rightio, folks. Well, that's it from me. I've had a fun evening. I didn't get down here until really late because it was just too hot to come down any earlier. Now, by downsizing my lure to a number two stump jumper, I also downsized my fish. I caught a weenie one and another one a little bit bigger. Naturally, the one that I lost, the third fish, was the biggest one, but that's always going to be the case when you lose a fish. Something else I discovered is that sinking feeling that you get when you forget your GoPro battery, because that's what happened to me. So I wasn't able to record the surface session. I thought I'll leave it off, I'll push record when I hook a fish. And then guess what? I never had a single touch anyway. Not a single buff. In fact, the surface fishing here in the Wangaratta area has really dropped right off in the last couple of weeks. I suspect it could be something to do with the heat. If I could live underwater at the moment, I wouldn't want to come up for anything either. I could be wrong, I don't know, but for whatever reason, the surface fishing has slowed right down here in the couple, last couple of weeks, but I'm sure it'll pick back up again. The fishing in general has had a bit of a slowdown, most likely due to the heat, I'm guessing, as well. It'll come back to you. I'm not too stressed at all. Happens this time every year. Now, there's one thing I do want to say. I'm okay. I'm not dying. I'm okay. Recently, I bought a brand new GoPro before Christmas, the Hero 7 Black, which is what I'm filming with now. But the only thing I've got against it, it's a great camera. The only problem I've got is that the microphone works so well that it picks up every single breath. And I'm getting all these comments telling me I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> I'm getting lots of comments about being fat. I've been called every name in the sun over the last few weeks. But that's okay. I couldn't care less. Those people have got problems, not me. I'm happy. But the heavy breathing that you're hearing is a combination of three things. I'm fat. I'm overweight. I can't change that. I can't deny that. I can't sugarcoat that. If I could sugarcoat it, well, I'd probably eat that too. <laughs> so I'm overweight. That leads me to breathe heavier. The heat is making it really hard for me to breathe. Right now, you can probably hear in my voice that my voice is a little bit more raspy than normal. The heat just knocks me around. Always has all my life. And I'm an asthmatic. So I'm not the best breather at the best of times. Even when I lost a lot of weight a few years ago and was fit, my breathing wasn't great. So I'm overweight, I'm an asthmatic, and it's hot. And the microphone on the GoPro Hero 7 picks up everything. I was watching a video the other day of a young kid fishing up near Copeton, and he sounded like he was unfit. He was about 14 and he was running up a hill. He was fine. But it's just that the GoPro does have a habit of doing that to people, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate. Anyway, folks, not a lot of action in this video, but gee, it was great to just get out. It's going to be 45 degrees tomorrow. I'm not getting out then. I'm going to work and then coming home and sitting under the air conditioner. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, why not consider doing so? And I'll see you in the next video.